What do you feel like eating this morning? I usually just have a bowl of cereal. The most important meal of the day is breakfast. Yeah, but I don't usually have time to eat a big breakfast. You can always make an easy breakfast. What do you make? All I make is oatmeal, toast, and some orange juice. That sounds pretty good. I like it, and it's a fast meal. That is a very quick meal to make. I can make it for you if you like. Oatmeal and toast sounds good to me. Hey, what's for lunch? I don't know. What do you want to eat? I was thinking of pizza. That's what I ate yesterday. Well, what do you want to eat? I wouldn't mind a burger. I ate a burger just the other day. We're going to have to compromise. You could always get a burger, and I can get a pizza. Sounds good to me. Where can we go to get both? We can get both at the cafeteria. What's for dinner tonight? What are you planning on cooking? I'm not making anything. If you plan on eating, you are. What am I supposed to cook? What do you feel like having? I want some chicken and potatoes. That sounds really good. When are you going to make it? I have no plans on cooking tonight. Fine, I'll make it. I knew that already. I'm so thirsty. Let's go get something to drink. That's a good idea. Do you know what you want to drink? I kind of want a soda. You shouldn't drink soda when you're really thirsty. What do you mean? When you're thirsty, you're not supposed to drink soda. What are you supposed to drink? Water. Is what's best for you. I guess I will get water. It's better for you. What are you going to eat with your sandwich? I think I'm going to eat a piece of fruit. What kind do you like? I really like apples and grapes. What kind of apples do you like? I love green apples. I don't like green apples. Really? Why not? Green apples are too sour for me. So, you like red apples better? Yeah, I love red apples. I think green apples are a lot better. I really feel like eating a salad. What kind are you going to make? I'm really not sure. I really like Caesar salads. Caesar salads are pretty good. What kind of salad do you want to make? I want a salad with some chicken. I love chicken salads. I like my salads to have croutons, almonds, and shredded cheese. Mmm, that sounds really tasty. You should make a salad like that. I think that I will. I want something sweet after dinner. What do you have in mind? A dessert sounds nice. What kind are you thinking of getting? I want to get some pie. What kind of pie do you want? I have no idea. Do you want to know what kind of pie I like? Sure. What kind do you like? I love apple pie. Oh, I love apple pie too. There you go. Problem solved. I need to get some beef. Do you know what kind of beef you want? I want to get some ground beef. How many pounds do you need? I would like four pounds of ground beef. What kind of ground beef do you need? I would like the extra lean. Let me go and get that for you. Thank you very much. No problem. I'll wrap it up for you now. I appreciate that. I'm hungry. You already ate. It wasn't enough because I'm hungry again. There's nothing left from dinner. I'm going to get a snack. 
What kind of snack are you going to make? I don't know. You can always make a sandwich. I don't know what kind of sandwich I want. Just make yourself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I may just do that. Go right ahead. What do you plan on making as a side dish for dinner? I was planning on making some kind of vegetable. Do you know what kind? What kind of vegetable do you want? I wouldn't mind eating some corn. How do you want it? What do you mean? I can boil it, grill it, or microwave it. You should throw some corn on the grill. Is that really what you want? That sounds good. I guess I can do that. I really need to start eating healthier. I have to start eating better too. What kind of food do you usually eat? I try my best to eat only fruits, vegetables, and chicken. Is that really all that you eat? That's basically it. How do you stick to only those foods? Actually, fruits and veggies are really good for you. Yeah, I know. But what about the chicken? I mainly bake chicken because there's not a lot of fat. That does sound pretty good.、Mm. I know it does, and that's because it is. I'm hungry. So am I. Where should we go eat today? How about we go eat in the cafeteria? I never bought food from the cafeteria. You haven't? They have a lot of good stuff. What do they have? They sell everything. Well, I want Chinese food. I've gotten chow mein from there before. I guess we can eat there then. Trust me, the food isn't half bad. I want to get a snack at the cafeteria. What are you going to buy? I may just buy some chips. I'm probably going to buy something too. What do you want to get? I want some sort of candy. What kind do you want? I want some chocolate. What kind of chocolate? I'm going to get a Snickers or a Kit Kat. I don't think they sell Kit Kats. I'll just get a Snickers then. Right. What can I get for you today? Could I get a hamburger, please? Would you like cheese on that? No, thank you. Would you like a drink? Let me have a soda. What kind of soda would you like? May I have a Sprite, please? Sure, no problem. I would also like a bag of chips. Will that be all? That's everything. What did you get for lunch today? All I had was a sandwich, chips, and a soda. Where did you get your food from? I went to the cafeteria and bought it. What sandwich did you order? I ordered a ham sandwich, but they gave me a bologna sandwich instead. Was it any good? I enjoyed it, even though I had not asked for it. I ordered a sandwich there before. Is that right? Yeah, and they messed my order up too. That may be true, but I'm sure you enjoyed your sandwich. I really want to get something to eat. What are you going to get? I don't know what I want to eat. Well, do you want burgers, Chinese food, or Mexican food? Chinese food sounds good. Where are you going to get it from? I haven't the slightest idea. I usually get my Chinese food from Panda Express. You like Panda Express? The food there is actually good. Where are you going to get it from? I haven't the slightest idea.
I usually get my Chinese food from Panda Express. You like Panda Express? The food there is actually pretty good. Maybe I'll go there then. You should. I know you'll like it. I think I'm going to go to the market today. Do we need food? Yeah, I think so. What are you going to get? I'm not sure what we need. Maybe you should go and look in the refrigerator. Could you just do it for me and write out a list of things that we need? Just get the basics. Like what? You know, get some eggs, milk, and bread. Just go and make a list for me, please. Fine, I'll go do that for you. I'd like to get some meat today. What kind do you need? I need about a pound of ground beef. The ground beef is two forty-eight a pound. That sounds good. What else would you like? I also need three pounds of chicken breast. The chicken breasts are four dollars and five cents a pound. How much will the three pounds of chicken cost altogether? Altogether, it's going to be twelve dollars and fifteen cents. That will be all for me. All right, let me get your meat for you. Have you ever shopped at Whole Foods Market? No.、Nope. How's the food there? It's very good, and it's fresh too. I do my shopping at Vons. I shop there before too, but the food is better at Whole Foods. What's wrong with Vons? Their range of organic foods is very limited. Whole Foods has a lot of organic foods. Yeah, the food there is very healthy. I've never been, but I may start shopping there. The food there is a great step up from Vons. Thanks for letting me know. I can't seem to find the cereal aisles. You'll find the cereal by the breakfast foods. What breakfast foods? They're over by the oatmeal and the breakfast bars. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Can I help you with anything else? Could you tell me where the dishwashing detergent is? You'll find that by the paper towels. Oh, I didn't think of that. That's where it'll be. Well, thank you very much. If you need anything else, please feel free to ask me. Just thinking about cooking dinner tonight. What do you want to make? I'm not exactly sure. I wouldn't mind a beef bowl. How do I make that? All it has is rice and teriyaki beef. That sounds easy, but how do I make it? First, you need to make some white rice. Then what do I do? Then you need to shred some beef and marinate it with teriyaki sauce. Is there anything else I need to do? Then you cook it up and eat it. What do you feel like eating this morning? I usually just have a bowl of cereal. The most important meal of the day is breakfast. Yeah, but I don't usually have time to eat a big breakfast. You can always make an easy breakfast. What do you make? All I make is oatmeal, toast, and some orange juice. That sounds pretty good. I like it, and it's a fast meal. That is a very quick meal to make. I can make it for you if you like. Oatmeal and toast sounds good to me. Hey, what's for lunch? I don't know. Hello, I'd like to reserve a hotel room. That should be no problem. May I have your full name, please? My name is John Sandals. Hello, Mr. Sandals. My name is Michelle. What days do you need that reservation, sir? I'm planning to visit New York from Friday, April 14th, until Monday, April 17th. A room rate recently went up. Is that okay with you, Mr. Sandals? How much per night are we talking about? Each night will be three hundred eight dollars. 
That price is perfectly acceptable. Wonderful. Do you prefer a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Next question: Is a queen size bed okay? That sounds fine. Okay, Mr. Sandals, your reservation is in our computer. All we need now is a phone number. Certainly, my phone number is six two six five 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 one seven three nine. Thank you, Mr. Sandals. We look forward to seeing you in New York. I have a reservation. My name is John Sandals. May I see your ID, please, Mr. Sandals? Certainly. Here it is. Thank you. Do you have a credit card, Mr. Sandals? Yes, I do. Do you accept American Express? Sorry, sir. Just Visa or Mastercard. Okay. Here's my Visa card. Okay. You're in room five o seven. It's a single queen size bed, spacious and non-smoking. Is that suitable? Yes. It sounds like everything I expected. Here's your key, sir. If you need anything, just dial zero on your room phone. I've got a reservation here. My name is John Sandals. Mr. Sandals, may I see your ID, please? One second, please, while I dig it out. Here. Now, sir, do you have a credit card? Yes, I do. Do you accept American Express? I'm sorry, Mr. Sandals, but we accept only Mastercard or Visa. That's okay. I've got plenty of cards. Here's my Visa. Okay. You're in room five o seven. It's a single queen size bed, spacious and non-smoking. Is that suitable? Yes. That's just what I wanted. Here's your key, sir. If you need anything, just dial zero on your room phone. Hi, I need to request a wake-up call for tomorrow morning. What time do you want the call? I need two calls, one at seven and another at seven fifteen. We can certainly do that. Expect to call from us at seven o'clock, and then again at seven fifteen. Actually. Can I change the latter wake-up call to 7:30 a.m.? I can certainly do that. Is there anything else? I can't think of anything. If I do think of something, I'll be sure to call again. Okay. Good night, sir. Hello. The front desk told me to ask you for sightseeing advice. Of course. I'd be more than happy to help. I am, after all, the hotel's concierge. Concierge. What exactly is that? We advise you on where to visit, eat, or shop during your stay here in New York. Great. So where should I start my sightseeing? The Statue of Liberty is always a good place to begin. Well, I saw the Statue of Liberty on my last visit here. Can you recommend somewhere else? Hmm. What type of interest do you have? In my spare time, I really like to view art and go running. Aha. Have you been to Central Park or the Museum of Modern Art? No, but I've heard a lot about both. Well, Central Park is wonderful for running. Afterwards, you should head to the museum to enjoy the art. Great! That sounds like a plan. Thanks a lot. I'm sure you'll have a good time there. I need a suggestion for a restaurant here in Manhattan. Certainly. How much are you planning to spend on dinner, sir? My date's very sophisticated, so I'm sure she would expect nothing but the best. May I suggest our own hotel restaurant? It got three stars in the latest restaurant review. No, thank you. I want to go out on the town. What other ideas do you have? There is always Gramercy Tavern. They have live jazz. The food is delicious. But very expensive. That sounds like a good place to take a date. Can you make a reservation for me? As you wish, sir. You'll have a wonderful time there. I'd like to order dinner. What would you like? I'd like to order a bottle of champagne, lobster tail, and filet mignon, medium rare. I'm sorry, we're currently out of filet mignon. May I suggest the porterhouse instead? I'd prefer the fillet, but the porterhouse will do. And may I suggest chocolate-covered strawberries with the champagne? 
Normally, I would take you up on that suggestion, but the champagne will do for tonight. Okay, no strawberries. Room service will be charged to your amenities account. Is that all right? That's fine. It will be up shortly. Enjoy your food, sir. I have a little problem with room five hundred seven. What exactly seems to be the problem, Mister Sandals? I found cockroaches in my room. Cockroaches, sir. That's unbelievable. I've seen at least nine different cockroaches in my room. Sir, are you sure you haven't seen the same silverfish nine times? There are nine cockroaches in my room. I don't have time for your disbelief. I apologize. One moment, please, while I transfer you to my supervisor. I want to change rooms. In fact, I want a refund for tonight. And the problem is, sir. Cockroaches have taken over my room. My apologies, sir. We'll give you a new room and refund the value of your current room. Thank you. I want to continue to be able to recommend this hotel to others. We always try to serve our guests in the most agreeable way possible. Excuse me, does this hotel have a fitness facility? Yes, we try to accommodate all needs of our patrons, including fitness. Where is your fitness facility located? The gym is just below the lobby. Take the elevator or the stairs. You can't miss it. Is there an additional surcharge for the gym? No, the gym is free to guests. Take your room key, however, so you can get in. What time is the gym open, and what time does it close? The gym is open seven days a week, twenty-four hours a day. Do you offer trainer services along with the gym? Unfortunately, no. If you want a trainer, you'll have to use another gym. I'd like to request some more amenities. Amenities? What do you mean by amenities, sir? Well, the free stuff. You know, the soap, lotion, shampoo, etc. I see, sir. If I may ask, have you used up all the amenities in your room? Not at all. I still have enough for the next few days. Then what is the problem, sir? I need some to keep as souvenirs. Souvenirs? Yes, souvenirs. Trinkets to remember my trip by. We do have a souvenir shop on the first floor, sir. Oh, that's not the same. I never pay for hotel souvenirs. I'll call housekeeping. Someone will be up with more amenities shortly. I need to copy a document immediately. We have a copy machine in our computer lab located on the first floor. Great. How much is it for a copy? The price for copy is ten cents. That sounds reasonable. I'll be down there immediately. There shouldn't be any long lines, sir. <laughs> I need a doctor immediately. Sir, is everything all right? My wife just collapsed on the floor. Sir, I need you to calm down. Take deep breaths. I'm sorry. It's just that my wife. I need the emergency room. Sir, I'm dialing nine one one on another line. What's taking you so long? I'm transferring you right now. Just remain calm. I'd like to order broadband internet for my laptop. Just plug the Ethernet cable into your computer, and a prompt will tell you the payment options. Well, I don't have an Ethernet port. My computer runs entirely on wireless service. That's too bad, but there are several alternatives if you want to hear them. Yes, please tell me about the alternatives. We run a fully equipped computer lab on the first floor. Very good. How much does that cost? The service is free to hotel patrons. However, printing costs ten cents per page. I see. And the other alternatives? Alternatively, we do offer wireless in our lobby. You can bring your laptop down here. Great. What if I need to print something in the lobby? You would have to use the computer lab. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I'd like to order a restock on my mini bar. You finished everything in there, sir? Absolutely everything. What would you like to order? Three bottles each of Perrier and Jim Beam. Uh huh. What else do you want?、Mm, the apples were great. Could you bring a couple more up? No problem. Is there anything else I can get for you? Some grape juice would also be nice. I'll get all of that for you right away. Someone should be up shortly. Is there a swimming pool in this hotel?
We don't have a full-size swimming pool, but we do have individual swimming stations. What exactly does that mean? Basically, a swim station is like a treadmill, except instead of running, you swim. That sounds really neat. Is there any extra charge for these swim stations? If you're a registered guest, you have free access to our swim stations. Are the swim stations open 24 hours like the rest of the gym? To conserve electricity, the stations operate only from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. I'll go down there as soon as I can. I don't think you'll be disappointed. People really seem to like the swim stations. I need to get a taxi. We have a variety of transportation services. Would you prefer a private vehicle or a taxi? No, that won't be necessary. I just need a taxi. Perhaps you'd prefer a limousine. That's such a stylish way to travel. Just a taxi, please. And what is your destination? I'm going to Rockefeller Center. I see. What time do you want to depart from the hotel? I want to leave as soon as possible. Okay. A taxi will arrive in seconds, sir. Thank you. I'm coming down now. It won't be but a few seconds, sir. I am checking out. Here's the key to my room. Thank you. I'll just put on your receipt, and then you're free to go. Here you go. Thanks. If you don't mind me asking, how did you enjoy your stay at New York Hotel? This hotel could use some incesticide, but my time in New York was thoroughly delightful. That's very honest of you. Rest assured that this hotel will have no insects next time. My amenities bill say that I owe $10 for a movie, but I never ordered one. Let's see. It says that you were charged Monday at 9 p.m. for the movie Titanic. That's absolutely wrong. I was out exploring the city Monday night. Okay, let me see what I can do for you. Thank you. I didn't think it would be this simple. I can take the $10 off your bill, but I need to charge you $2 for the service. Are you serious? I have to pay $2 for a movie I never watched? Unfortunately, sir, it's how the computer is programmed. This is outrageous. I'm never coming back to this hotel again. I'm sorry, sir. Perhaps you'd like to write a letter to the headquarters. I'm checking out in about half an hour. Whenever you're ready to check out, I'll be ready, sir. Great. As you know, however, the day in New York has hardly begun. You're right. It's only 9 a.m. Therefore, I think I'll explore New York some more, but I need to store my bags. Sir, our storage facility is merely $5 an hour. You also need to leave a deposit. My luggage isn't enough of a deposit? Unfortunately, it isn't. Visa or MasterCard will suffice, though. Hmm. Well, then. Let me put on my thinking cap for a moment. Better. Hey, Devin, have you thought about where you'd like to go to dinner on Friday for your birthday? I am not sure. I don't know that many restaurants around here. You know, we could look online at the local internet sites. Good. Let's take a look. What kind of food would you like? I enjoy Thai or Japanese the best. This one, Shogun, looks good. Oh, yes, I've heard of that one. Everybody I've spoken with says it's great. Would you like to go there, then? I think that that would be a really good choice. Let's call and make a reservation. Hello, Shogun Restaurant. Hi, I would like to make a dinner reservation. Of course. What evening will you be joining us on? We will need the reservation for Tuesday night. What time would you like the reservation for? We would prefer 7 or 7.30. For how many people? Mm, there will be four of us. Fine. I can seat you at 7 on Tuesday. If you would kindly give me your name. Thank you. The last name is Foster. See you at 7 this Tuesday, Mr. Foster. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Good evening, sir, and welcome to Shea Attitude. We have a dinner reservation for four at seven, in the name of Foster? Yes, Mr. Foster. If you would please be seated over in the waiting area, our hostess will be with you in a moment. Thank you. Would it be okay if we have a cocktail while we are waiting? Of course. I will tell her. I would really prefer an outside table. Would that be possible? Sure. If you would like one of those tables, I could seat you right away. Sure, that would be great. Thank you. Here are your menus and the wine menu. And would you like to order your drinks now? Yes, I would like a vodka gimlet, please. Sure, no problem, sir. Thank you very much. Welcome to our restaurant, Shea Attitude. Our reservation is under the name of Foster at 7 o'clock for four people. 
Yes, Mr. Foster, our hostess will be with you in just a moment. We would like to begin with a cocktail. While we are waiting, would you tell the hostess to please come and let us know when our table is ready? I will let her know where you are. The patio tables look really nice. Can we be seated there, please? I could seat you right away at an outside table if you would like. Thanks. We'll sit out there then. We will just order our drinks out there. Well, would you like to start off with your cocktails while you're looking over the menu? Yes. Why don't you bring us a bottle of the house Chevy with four glasses to start with? I'll get on that right away. We appreciate your help. Hello. Can I start you off with anything to drink? Yes. May I have some water, please? Sure. Would you like any appetizers today? May I get an order of barbecue wings? No problem. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you. That'll be all for now. Okay, let me know when you're ready to order your food. I'm ready. Okay, what can I get you? May I have the fettuccine Alfredo? Ah, uh, will that be all? Yes, that's it. Hi, I'm your waitress, Mary. Hello, Mary. We're all pretty hungry tonight. While you're looking over the menu, can I interest you in an appetizer? An appetizer sounds good. Do you have a special menu? They are listed on the first page of the menu. The coconut shrimp looks good. Have you ever had that? Yes, it is excellent. Good, I'll take that then. Would you like to split that and choose another appetizer for half price to share? Good, in that case, we'll also take an order of onion rings. Thank you. Have you had enough time to look over the menu? Yes, we are almost ready to order. Let me remind you of the specials of the day, which are posted on the board. Oh, that all sounds so good. Can we get the sauce on the side? Yes, we would be happy to prepare the food to meet your special needs. I was wondering if you have any vegetarian choices. Yes, the roasted vegetable salad is good, and the portobello mushroom burger is also a good choice. I think that I would like to order the broccoli noodles, please. That's an excellent choice, and I could bring you your salads now or bring them with your dinner. Please bring our salads to us now. We are hungry. May I take your drink order while you're looking over the menu? Yes. Do you have a wine list? The wine list is on the second page of our menu. Do you have mixed drinks in this restaurant? Yes, we have a full bar here. I am not sure what I want. Do you have any house specials? Actually, we are famous for our Cuervo Gold Margaritas. Mmm, that sounds good. Please bring me one of those. Would you like that drink blended or on the rocks? I would like it blended. Would you like it with salt or no salt? I would like my margarita, no salt. Thank you. Did you enjoy your meal? Yes, we really enjoyed it. May I interest you in some dessert? Yes, that sounds great. Well, we have chocolate mousse cake, homemade fresh strawberry shortcake, and a spicy rum apple crisp for our specials. The apple crisp sounds great. Since there are four of you, would you like to split a second dessert? Good suggestion. Could you please bring us a chocolate mousse cake and four dessert forks, please? Would you like coffee or tea with your dessert? Let's have four coffees, please. Okay, I will be right back with your desserts and drinks. Thank you. We have really enjoyed our meal here. Well, here's your breakfast. Thanks so much. Um, miss, I believe I ordered my eggs scrambled and these are fried. Sorry, your friend over there ordered fried eggs and I gave you his by mistake. Oh, yeah. Here, I will just trade with him. Here are your pancakes, ma'am. But I ordered waffles. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. I will eat my eggs and bacon, and you can take my pancakes back. Good. Ma'am, I will take care of that right away. Thank you so much. What a wonderful dinner. Thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Where did you get your fantastic recipes? I grew up cooking. My mother shared her recipes with me. I especially like the wonderful chicken dish. That is a special coconut ginger chicken with rice dish. Is that shrimp in the soup? Yes. Do you like it? I added a little extra lemongrass and some sea vegetables. I am happy that the wine I brought for you works well with this meal. Yes. Thank you for bringing the wine. It really complements the meal. Hey, Georgie, how is your chicken? My chicken tastes all right, but it is pretty dry. How is your... My fish is pretty dry, too. It's almost as if this food has been sitting a little too long. It doesn't seem fresh. 
Yes, it seems that way to me also. How are your vegetables? My vegetables are soggy. Mine are the same way. It seems like they've been overcooked. I don't usually complain, but I think we should mention this to the waiter. I agree. Maybe they can bring us some better food. Do you want some dessert? No, thanks. We just need our check. Have you seen the waitress? Oh, here comes our waitress with our check. The service here has been really great, don't you think? Yes, the service was quite good. So, let's look at the check. The total is $36. How much do you think we should leave for a tip? Usually, people leave 15%, but this was exceptional service. I'm thinking that maybe 20% would be appropriate. I agree that 20% would be just about right. Okay, so that will bring her tip to $7.20. Add it to the 36 and the total is $43.20. Yes. What a nice dinner this was. Well, we'll have to make sure to come back here again real soon. Do you want some dessert? No, thanks. We just need our check. Have you seen the waitress? Where is our waitress anyway? Yes, the service hasn't been the best. Is that our waitress over there? I'll walk over and get the bill, since I don't think the waitress is coming over here anytime soon. Good idea. Just bring it back and we'll figure it out together. So, the bill is $36. How much do you think we should leave for a tip? My first inclination is to leave nothing for a tip. I agree, but we don't really know the whole story. There may have been problems in the kitchen beyond her control. Three dollars and sixty cents for the tip. So how did you like the restaurant? I thought it was very good. I felt the food was excellent. What did you like the best? I liked the fish the best. I liked the fish also, but I really enjoyed the dessert the most. Yes, the macadamia cakes were wonderful. Wasn't the service top notch? Yes, the waiter was very attentive. I hope to be able to come back to this restaurant soon. So how did you like the restaurant? Actually, it could have been better. What didn't you like about it? It is a new restaurant. I don't think they have their act together yet. What did you think about the food? I felt that the food was pretty mediocre. The service wasn't that great either. I agree. The service was not good. Do you think that you want to try this restaurant another time? No, I think I've had enough of this restaurant. Welcome. What would you like to order? I would like to get a double cheeseburger. Would you like anything on it? I would like everything on it, thank you. Do you want any fries? Let me get some large curly fries. Can I get you anything to drink? Sure, how about a medium Pepsi? Is that everything? That'll be all, thanks. You're welcome, and your total is $5.48. Thank you, here you go. Hey, Devin, have you thought about where you'd like... What can I help you with today? I need to check out this book. Do you have your library card? I don't have one. Would you like to apply for one right now? That's fine. I'm going to need you to fill out the application. All right. All done. All right. Now please sign the back of the card. Okay. I've signed it. That's all there is to it. Great. Now can I check out this book? What may I do for you? I need to get a passport. You will need to apply for one. When will I be able to do that? You can do it right now if you'd like. That's fine. Please fill out this application. Then what do I do? I just need to take your picture. How long will it take for my passport to be ready? You will get it in a few weeks. That's perfect. What can I help you with today? When does the library close? The library closes at 6 o'clock. Does it close at day? Not always. Is the library open on Saturdays? Yes. What time do you open and close on Saturday? The hours are from 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Okay, thank you very much. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. How are you doing today? Good, thanks for asking. What may I do for you? I need help with something. What do you need help with? I am looking for a newspaper article. Have you looked in the periodicals? I didn't even think about that. 
I can show you where they are. That would be a lot of help. Follow me, please. Thank you so much. How may I help you? I couldn't find the book I was looking for. Have you checked the database? I checked. Was it on the shelf? It should have been, but it wasn't. Maybe someone took it. Will you be getting another copy anytime soon? I'm sure we will. Would you be able to reserve it for me? I sure will. Thank you very much. How may I help you? I need to check these books out. Do you have your library card? Here it is. It appears that you have late fees. Really? Yes, really. How much do I owe? You owe $24.50 in late fees. I don't have that much today. I'm sorry, but until you pay it, you won't be able to check out any more books. I'll pay it as soon as possible. What can I do for you? I'm trying to find this book. What's the problem? It doesn't seem like this library has it. Have you checked the computer? I have already. What did it say? It says the book is on the shelf, but I didn't find it there. I can always borrow the book from another library. You can do that? I'll make the call and contact you when it gets in. That's fantastic. Thank you. What can I do for you today? I need to return a book. Can I do anything else for you? I want to check these books out. Is that all? That's all. May I see your library card, please? It's right here. Will that be all for today? Yes, that's it. These are due back in two weeks. All right, have a good night. What can I do for you today? I need to return a book. Can I do anything else for you? I want to check this magazine out. We don't allow people to check out magazines. Why not? It's just a policy of ours. So what am I allowed to check out? You may check out books or videos. I need to check out this magazine. You will have to just read it in the library. That doesn't make any sense. What can I do for you today? I need to return a book. Can I do anything else for you? I would also like to check out this video. Is that all? Yes, just the video. May I see your library card? Here you go. You have to take care of this video. Oh, I will. You will be fined if you damage it. I understand. Thank you very much. How may I help you? I need to return these books. What happened to this one? The cover came off. You're going to need to pay for the damage. How much are you talking? It's going to be five dollars. That's not bad at all. It really isn't. Here you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. How may I help you? I need to return these books. Give them here. Here they are. It appears these books are two weeks late. I forgot they were due. You do realize you are going to have to pay late fees, right? How much is the late fee? The late fee is 25 cents a day. So I have to pay 25 cents for each day the books are late? It's 25 cents for each book. That's a lot of money.
What can I do for you today? I would like to use a com like to use a computer. Do you have your library card? I sure do. There is a wait for the computers. That's all right. You need to print your name on this list. Okay, now what? Once a computer is available, I will let you know. How am I supposed to log on to the computer? All you do is type in the number on the back of your card. That's it? Thank you very much. How may I help you today? I need to make some copies. The copier is right over there. Does it cost to use it? We do charge to use the machine. How much does it cost? We charge 10 cents a copy. How many copies am I allowed to make? There is no limit to how many copies you can make. Would you mind showing me how to use it? Please read the instructions on the copier. Oh, okay. Thanks. Insurance do you have? I went with Automobile Club. Why did you choose that company? I looked at the price of the type of insurance that I wanted. What should I think about in choosing coverage? There are websites that will figure out what coverage is right for you. What did you end up buying then? Well, my car is old, so I didn't worry so much about what it would cost to repair it. I did buy a lot of coverage for fixing someone else's car. I see. Have you ever had to use your insurance? Luckily, I never had to use my insurance. Hello, I'm interested in buying auto insurance. Sure, can I help you? Did you bring all of your registration papers? Yes, I brought everything with me. Is your car with you? Yes, it's out in the parking lot. Wonderful. Let's go and check to see what shape it is in. Okay. Can you help me figure out what I should insure my car for? I will look it up on the blue book list and I will fi factor in its condition. What else do I need to consider? Yes, you need to figure in liability for damage to the other car as well as injury issues as well. I really like that car and I'm thinking of buying it. Yes, I agree. Do you want to take it to the mechanic to have it checked out? I already took care of that yesterday. That's good. Have you discussed the price with the seller? Yes, I think we've agreed upon a fair price. Have you set up your financing to pay for this car? Yes, my parents are going to loan me the money. That's good. What w Would you like me to go talk to the seller with you and drive your car home? That would be of great help. Glad to be of help. I can't wait to see your new car. Thank you for letting me test drive the car. So, do you think that you would like to purchase this car? You know, I'm not interested in purchasing the car right now. What's the problem? We can at least sit down and maybe work out a deal. Actually, I have several other cars to look at before I make my decision. What didn't you like about the car? Maybe I can fix something for you. It is a combination of things, but I appreciate your time. I have some other cars you might want to look at. Again, I appreciate your time, but I will not be purchasing this car. Give me a call if you change your mind. Have a good day. I was thinking about buying this used car and was wondering if you would take a look at it for me to see if it has any problems. Sure. Pull up over there and we'll take a look. I just wasn't sure what to look for. The first thing you need to do 
is look for any signs of wear both inside and out. We will also look at the body for signs of major repair. Someone told me that I could go online and see if the car is listed as having been in a major accident. Yes, that's right. Next, we will turn on the engine and we will check under the hood to look at the hoses and belts. Should we take the car for a drive? Yes, but before we pull away, let's check to make sure that the radio, turn signals, lights, and seats all work properly. As I am driving, what should I be checking? You want to make sure that the brakes don't pull to one side and that the car has good alignment and acceleration. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Enjoy driving your car. I am buying a used car and don't know much about financing it. I can help you. Do you have a down payment? Yes, I have saved up $3,000 for a down payment. Good, because you will not be able to get a loan without putting some money down on the car. I don't know where exactly to get a loan. I don't know where exactly to get a loan. Other than friends or family, you can go to a bank, credit union, or use the dealer financing if you bought the car off of a car lot. What is the best choice for financing? It depends. The worst financing deal is usually at the dealer, but they will oftentimes give you a loan when a bank turns you down. What do I need to have with me when I apply for the loan? You need a recent pay stub and a copy of the pink slip for the car before the loan is complete. You'll need to show proof of insurance. Good luck. I need to go to the DMV and don't know how to make an appointment with them. First of all, you need to figure out if you really need to be there in person. Sometimes you can take care of your business at the automobile club or at the DMV website. If I do need to go in, how can I make an appointment? You can either make an appointment by going online or by calling the phone number listed on their website. What if I just show up there? If you have all day to wait and a good book to read, that might work for you. Is the DMV open on Saturdays? Due to state budget cuts, the DMV is no longer open on Saturdays. I think that you have just convinced me to join the automobile club. Yes, the automobile club takes all the pain out of DMV transactions. This car is exactly what I want. I'm glad that you like it. I've had good experiences with this car. So, how much do you want for the car? Well, the price in the paper was $5,000. Yes, I know, but I think that might be a little high for this car. I might be able to come down a little on the price. How about selling the car for 4000 No, that's way less than I could accept. However, I could accept 4500 That sounds fair to me. It's a deal then. Thank you. How much does this car cost? Well, come on in and we'll Come on in and we'll sit down and discuss that right now. How much do you want to pay? I really was just wondering what the price is. Well, figuring in tax, license, dealer prep and registration, I can let this car go for $15,000. I was thinking a little lower than that. Wow, let's keep talking here. I am sure we can work something out. 
What price are you thinking is fair? I was thinking more like thirteen thousand dollars. You know, you look like you are a sweet kid. I'll give it to you for fourteen thousand dollars. That would be a good price if the car was in great shape, but it is registered as having been in an accident. Okay, thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty, and that's my final offer. I really love the look of this car. Would you like to test drive this car? Yes, I would love to take it for a drive. I'll go get the keys, and you can get out your driver's license and proof of insurance. Here they are, my driver's license and proof of insurance. Well, just sign this card, and we'll be on our way. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelt. Can I take it on the freeway to check for acceleration? That would be fine. Just don't exceed the speed limit. This car handles great. I love it. I'm glad that you like this car. So, now that I've decided to buy this car, how do I transfer the title to myself? Actually, your best bet is to contact the automobile club or to go to the DMV website. Basically, what will I need to do? Both buyer and seller need to transfer the ownership by filling out a change of ownership form and signing over the certificate of title, which will be either pink or rainbow. Will I have to pay any fees? All of the transfer fees are the responsibility of the buyer. How much will it cost to transfer the title? The DMV has a special formula that they use to calculate the fees. They will figure it out for you. Do I need a smog certificate? No, only if your car was manufactured before 1975. Where do I take my forms? You can take them to the DMV. You have 10 days to complete the process. Where is the best place to buy a used car? I have always purchased my used cars from an advertisement in the paper. But actually, you have many options. Where else could I look for a car? You could look on the internet. Craigslist is best, as most of the cars listed there are sold locally. What would be best if I wanted to actually go see a lot of used cars that are for sale? The best place is CarMax, which is a very large used car lot. Where is CarMax? There are many of them. You can look on the internet or in the phone book for the one closest to you. How about the listings on the college bulletin board? Actually, that is not a bad way to go, especially near the end of the semester as students are moving away. At the window of the DMV, number one. Hi, could you tell me what window I should go to? Do you have an appointment? Yes, I have an appointment. The DMV windows are set up for different tasks. What are you here to do? I need to transfer ownership of a used car. I can see that you have all of your forms filled out. Drop the forms in that box, and I will call you when your name comes up. Okay. Thanks for helping me. You are welcome. May I see your current driver's license? Here's my license. It is not a very good picture of me. That's a pretty good picture. Just pay the fee over at the last window and you're done. What kind of insurance do you have? I went with Automobile Club. Why did you choose that company? I looked at the price of the type of insurance that I wanted. What should I think about in choosing coverage? There are websites that will figure out what coverage is right for you. What did you end up buying then?
Well, my car is old, so I didn't worry so much about what it would cost to repair it. I did buy a lot of coverage for fixing someone else's car. I see. Have you ever had to use your insurance? Luckily, I never had to use my insurance. Hello. I'm interested in buying auto insurance. Sure. Can I help you? Did you bring all of your registration papers? Yes, I brought everything with me. Is your car with you? Yes, it's out in the parking lot. Wonderful. Let's go and check to see what shape it is in. Okay. Can you help me figure out what I should insure my car for? I will look it up on the blue book list and I will fi factor in its condition. What else do I need to consider? Yes, you need to figure in liability for damage to the other car as well as injury issues as well. I really like that car and I'm thinking of buying it. Yes, I agree. Do you want to take it to the mechanic to have it checked out? I already took care of that yesterday. That's good. Have you discussed the price with the seller? Yes, I think we've agreed upon a fair price. Have you set up your financing to pay for this car? Yes, my parents are going to loan me the money. That's good. What w would you like me to go talk to the seller with you and drive your car home? That would be of great help. Glad to be of help. I can't wait to see your new car. Thank you for letting me test drive the car. So, do you think that you would like to purchase this car? You know, I'm not interested in purchasing the car right now. What's the problem? We can at least sit down and maybe work out a deal. Actually, I have several other cars to look at before I make my decision. What didn't you like about the car? Maybe I can fix something for you. It is a combination of things, but I appreciate your time. I have some other cars you might want to look I'm interested in buying a house and need some information. Yes, of course. What are you interested in? I'm interested in Pasadena or Arcadia. What size house would you like? We need a medium-sized house with at least three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Are you interested in being in a particular school district? Yes, we want to stay in the ABC school district. Would you like a home near the lake or would you prefer a view? I would love to have a home with a view. Fine, I will begin a search for the perfect home for you. I will call you in a few days. I need to see if I qualify for a home loan. I can help you. How much money do you make per year? I make around $100,000 per year. How long have you been on your current job? I've only worked at this job for six months, but I have a longer job history elsewhere. Do you have any other outside income from rental property or trust? No, I only receive my salary. Do you know your credit score? I think that it is around 600. By crunching the numbers and putting in your expenses, I estimate that you can afford a house of around $500,000. Hello. I would like to make an appointment to look at houses. Sure. Would you prefer looking in the morning or afternoon? I would prefer mornings. Can you go during the week or can you only go during the weekend? Going to look at houses during the week is best for me. Where would you like me to pick you up? I will meet you at the real estate office. I am thinking of looking at three houses, and it will take about two hours. That sounds good to me. Once I contact the owners and confirm the times, I will email you a schedule. 
I really like the way this house looks. Yes, it has great curb appeal. The landscaping is wonderful. Yes, it is nice, but wait until you see the interior. Oh, I see what you mean. The carpeting and paint are all new, as well as the window treatments. I love the sage green carpeting with the sunset colored walls. Come and see the kitchen. Oh, look at that beautiful countertop material and the double sink. Let's go check out the bedroom and bathroom. I really like the jacuzzi bathtub in the bathroom. I am happy that you like the house. We should write down what we like so that we can remember it. Oh, I'm not sure I even want to look at this house. It is a bit of a fixer-upper. Let's take a look inside. It doesn't look too much better inside this place. You know, with a little elbow grease and paint, you could spruce it up a bit. There are hardly any windows in here, and that makes it really gloomy. Let's go check out the kitchen. The printout says that it is quite large. Look at those broken tile countertops and the peeling wallpaper. Maybe the master suite has some redeeming qualities. Follow me, please. What's that smell? Perhaps we should move on to the next listing. I would like to make an offer on this house, but I don't know much about the process. As your realtor, I am here to take care of this process. How much were you planning on offering? I really like the house and will pay the full asking price of $350,000. We want to leave ourselves some bargaining room. Let's offer $320,000. That sounds good, but I don't want this house to get away from me. The market is fairly down right now, so the offer is a realistic one. When will we know if they accept the offer? The owners usually respond to an offer within a few days. Should I be contacting my bank in the meantime? You were already pre-qualified for your loan, so you are in good shape. Have the owners come up with a counter offer to my offer to buy their home yet? The owners have counter offered $335,000. Should I accept their offer? There are two ways to respond. You can either come back with another offer or go with their counter offer. What if I make another offer and they don't accept it? No one else has made an offer, so you can make another offer if you want to do so. I think that I would like to offer $330,000 as a counter offer. Okay, I will present your counter offer to the owners tonight. How long before I find out what their decision is? By now, the owners probably have a pretty good idea of what they will accept. It will go quickly. Did you get a chance to speak with the sellers about my counter offer? Yes, and I think I have good news for you. Did they accept the counter offer? Yes, they accepted your counter offer, but they want you to pay for the home inspection. How much will that cost? It will cost you around five hundred to one thousand dollars for a home inspection. Can I choose the home inspector? Yes, you are paying for it, so you get to choose. I will pick the best one. So, when are you going to inform the owners of my acceptance? I will call the owners right now. They will be happy to hear the good news. Hey, let's pull over and look at that house over there. Yes, that looks great. Is it on our open house list? Yes, it is on our list.
Well, it looks great from the curb. Let's go on inside. Let's sign the registry. The realtor looks kind of busy right now. Okay, let's go check out the kitchen next. Oh, look, they have some refreshments in here. Make sure that you pick up a flyer with the information about the home. Does it say how much they're asking for this house? Yes, it seems to have been discounted from 235000 to 225000 I heard that you finished my home inspection, and I was wondering how it went. First of all, we need to understand what I was looking for. Do you know what the purpose of an inspection is? I'm not sure what a home inspection is all about. I went there to check for problems with the home so you aren't surprised when you move in. Wouldn't the owners have told me about any problems? Sellers aren't always truthful, and there might also be problems that they aren't aware of. Can I require the owners to fix the problems? You can make the sale of the house contingent on them fixing the problems. What did you find out when you did the inspection of my new home? There were no major problems. One leaky pipe under the sink and two broken roof tiles was all that I found. I am here to sign my escrow papers. I will tell you ahead of time that there is a lot to sign here, but I will help you every step of the way. Should I have brought anything with me? Basically, what I need from you now is your driver's license or some ID that shows your residency status. Where do I start? We will be going through these papers one by one. I will be explaining them all to you, and you can ask questions as we go. Can I make a phone call to a friend if I have a question? We do not want you to sign any documents that you do not understand. You may get assistance with any questions that you have. Will the house be mine when we finish these documents? This is the last thing you need to do, but it may take a while for the papers to be processed. When can I move into my new house? The current owners will be moving out on Tuesday, so technically you could pick up the keys and move in on Wednesday. Will the utilities be turned on? You need to contact the utility company and make arrangements to transfer the utilities to your name. I really want to paint the wall. Oh, I need to register for a class. What class are you trying to take? I want to take a psychology class. Well, there are only two classes open. Can you tell me what days the classes are on? One class is on Tuesday and Thursday from 2 to 4 p.m. And the other class? That class is from 10 to 12 on Monday and Wednesday. Are you sure these are the only open classes? Yes, I am sure. Okay, sign me up for the class on Monday and Wednesday. Very well, then. Hello, how are you doing? Pretty good, and you? I'm doing great. That's great to hear. So how long have you been going to PCC? I've been going here for a couple of years now. You? This is my first year. How do you like it so far? It's all right. You don't like it. I'll like it better once I finish my GE. That's exactly how I used to feel. Could you help me? What do you need? I can't seem to find my class. What building is it in? It's in the C building. 
Oh, I know exactly where that is. Do you think you can tell me where it is? Sure. What room number is it? It's room number 261. I have a class around there right now. Could you show me where it is? No problem. Come on. How do I buy my textbooks? Do you have your book list for your class? Yes, I have my list. Fine. Once you have it, you can go to the bookstore. Do you know where that is? Yes, I know where the bookstore is. Okay, so once you pass the gym, it's the first store on your left. Do you know you can also sell your used textbooks there? No, I didn't know I could do that. You just take them with you and trade them with the used textbook man just outside the door. Do you think you will be going there today? Yes, I am going today. Well, if you decide to go, I could meet you over there at 1 today or tomorrow to help. Would that work for you? Yes, thank you. That would be great. Well then, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Could you tell me if you have ever taken a class from Dr. Miller? Yes. Are you going to be taking a class from him? Yes, but I have never taken his class before. He is very interesting and challenging. Is that what you're looking for? Yes. That's what I need. He is really clear on what you need to learn to get a good grade. Are you willing to study hard? Yes, I guess so. What I really liked about him is that he was an understanding and friendly teacher. Do you enjoy that in a teacher? Yes, I had a teacher like that before. Did you know that he has 20 years teaching experience? No, I didn't, but that could be a good thing. Well, take a look at everything and figure out what is best for you. Good luck. Professor, could I make an appointment with you? I am free tomorrow afternoon between 2 and 4. Do you have a particular time in mind? Two o'clock would be the best time. Fine. Do you know where my office is? No, I'm not sure. Remember, it is in the E building on the third floor. I see. Don't worry. It will work out fine once you get there. I'll see you then. I'll see you then. Looking forward to meeting with you. Excuse me, Professor. I have to talk to you about why my homework didn't get done. What happened that you didn't get it done? I had to watch a football game instead. Well, you had more than one day. Couldn't you have fit it in on another day? Yes, I think so. Either way... I only allow one missed assignment per semester. When will you be turning the makeup in? I'll make it up next week. Fine, but it cannot happen again if you want an A in the class. Okay, I can do that. Remember that you are in college now, not high school. Excuse me, Professor? I think there might be an error in my test score. Sure. Do you think that the total is wrong or that you get something marked wrong that should have been marked right? I think that the percentage is incorrect. Let's just go over all of it to double check. Sure. Let's do it. Here's the answer sheet. Do you see a place where I marked something wrong? 
that should have been right? I don't see any mistakes. Okay. Now that we've gotten those straightened out, let's total the score. Yes, let's total it. Well, if I total that like this and divide by this number, I get this total. Do you agree? Yes, you're right. Well then, we are all straight. Have a good day and thanks for bringing that to my attention. Do you have the notes from last week's class? Did you come late? I couldn't make it. Why is that? I was sick. Oh, okay. Well, here you go. Are these all of them? Oh, wait. Here are the rest. Thanks a bunch. Don't mention it. I was wondering how you were going to calculate our final grades. Grades are based on many things. Homework, attendance, quizzes, midterm, and final. What counts the most? Actually, I look at all of it and let's not forget class participation. Do you grade on a curve or use percentages? Homework, attendance, and quizzes are 60%. The midterm and final are worth 20% each. What if we miss something? I will allow one unexcused absence. After that, you need to contact me ahead of time. Will you tell us if we are failing during this year? You will be able to track your progress during the year. I'd like to talk to you about my grades. Sure. What exactly do you have questions about? I am worried that I messed up on a test. Well, let me take a look at my grade book. How do you think you are doing? I think I'm doing great, except for that one test. Well, your scores show that you could do a little better. What do you think you could improve on? I think that I could study a little harder for tests. Fine. Please remember that regular attendance is the most important way to begin. Yes, I know. I'm sure you'll do fine. Excuse me, Professor. I'm going to miss next week's class. Is this something that you could schedule for another time? No, I have to do this. It's important. Have you arranged for someone to take notes for you? I've made arrangements with a friend to help me. You know that I only allow one absence per semester, don't you? Yes, I know. Write down your name and the date on a piece of paper and give it to me. Okay, I can do that. Well, have a good day off from class. Professor, I am going to need to leave class early today. What's the problem? I need to go to the airport to pick up a relative. Are you planning on having someone take notes for you? Yes, I've got that part covered. Hmm, what exactly do you need to leave? I don't need to leave until the very end of class. Fine, but next time try and not have to miss the class again. Thanks, Professor. See you later. See you later. Now drive carefully. I have an appointment for one thirty. What can I help you with? Well, I have a problem with my class schedule. What is it? It seems that I've been given two classes scheduled at the same time. I can understand the problem with that. Is there any way that you can fix my problem with that? Is there any way that you can fix my schedule? No problem. Do you want those classes still? Yes, I do. 
Let me see if I can find one of these classes on another day. Thank you very much. I am unsure how to add a class and need help. I have an opening. Do you have an ad sheet for me to sign? Yes, I have an ad sheet. After I sign it, you must take it to the admissions and records office to add the class. Do you know where that is? No, I'm not sure. When you cross the quad, the office is right in front of you. Go inside and follow the signs to the correct line. Thanks. I understand what to do now. It should be easy to find. After you add the class, check with me in a few weeks to make sure that you are on my roll sheet. That sounds good. Good. Just make sure that you do the same thing if you ever need to drop a class. Good luck. When are we leaving for our field trip? Our science field trip is next Monday at 8 in the morning. Can you mark that on your calendar? Yes, I will write that down. That will be Monday, December 2nd. We need to start loading the buses half an hour early, so plan to arrive at 7.30. Yes, I will be there on time. We will return six days later on December 8th. Will someone be picking you up? Yes, someone is coming to get me. The return bus will leave the campground at 5 p.m. and return to campus three hours later at 8 p.m. What should we bring with us? I'm going to post all of that information on the Geology Club webpage. Check it out when you get a chance. See you Monday. Hi, could you help me find a place where I could buy some lunch? Sure. What kind of food would you like? I was thinking of pizza or something else Italian, maybe. I know the perfect place. Good. Where is it? It's right past the last building on the left. Do you want me to go with you? That would be great. Glad you asked me to join you. This will be fun. Can you help me figure out how to use this vending machine? Yes, I would be happy to help. What do you want to buy? I want to buy that candy. Okay. So this machine will make change if you need it. Do you have your dollars ready? Yes, yeah, so far so good. Next, you feed your dollars into the machine in the slot. Make sure they are smooth. Yeah, I already knew that. I'm sure you know that if the dollar gets stuck, you might have to refeed it. Okay, let's move on. Now you just make your selection and pray. If nothing comes out, try again or call the number on the side of the machine or give it a good whack. I hope it works. Well, good luck. Excuse me, I'm interested in getting a library card. Sure, let me give you an application. You can fill it out right here at the counter. Okay, here it is. Let me take a look at this for you. May I have your driver's license, please? Here's my license and form. You seem to have filled the form out all right. Are you familiar with our rules and fines? Yes, I know what to do. The hours and limitations are printed on the card and this handout. Okay. Thank you for joining the library. We look forward to serving you. Can you help me with the returning of my late books? This is the right spot to pay your fee. Put your books down right here. Okay. I can see that you owe 25 cents a day. 
That will be $1.50 total. Okay, here's the money. We are interested in... So, so as long as all the fines are paid off by the end of this semester, you will be fine. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. Your registration and transcripts can be held up if there is an outstanding fine. Now I understand. Well, you can always keep your late fees down by using the night drop if we are closed. Enjoy the library. Excuse me, could you help me figure out how to use this new parking meter? Sure. It was confusing for me also. Have you ever used a regular meter? Yes, I understood the old one. Well, on this one you can use coins or a debit or credit card. Which one would you like to use? Debit or credit card. Okay. Now, do you see what the rate is on the sticker? Yes. Okay. Now that we know what it will cost, put the money or card into the machine. Yes, I can do that. Wonderful. Now, the machine asks you the number of your spot, so put that in also. Yes, I'm ready. All you have to do now is take your receipt and put it on your dashboard. I'd like to purchase a parking permit for next semester. Are you a daytime student or do you just come in the evenings? I am a daytime student. Will you be driving a motorcycle or a car? I will be driving my car. Okay. That will be $25. How would you like to pay for it? I'll pay for it with a check. Would you like to pay for an extra permit for another vehicle? I'm calling today about a bill that I never received. Can you tell me which credit card it was for? It was for my MasterCard. You should have gotten that bill two weeks ago. I haven't gotten it in the mail yet. The computer is showing that all bills have been mailed. What am I supposed to do about my bill then? Maybe you should call your post office. But if it's their mistake, can I get an extension on my bill payment? Yes, but you will need to send us proof of their mistake. Okay, thank you very much for your help. Not a problem. Enjoy the rest of your day. There's a problem with my credit card. Tell me what the problem is. A charge came up on my bill that I didn't make. What was the charge for? The charge was for a $350 purse, but I did not buy it. Are you sure that you didn't make that purchase? I would know if I bought something that expensive. I apologize. What day was this purchase made? It was bought on November 12th at 3.15 p.m. while I was at work. All right, we'll do an investigation. Until this investigation is finished, will I have to pay for the charge? No, you don't. We'll take care of it. I would like to order cable. Sure. What package do you want? What kinds of packages do you offer? We have all kinds of movie channel packages. What else do you have? There's a package for all sports channels. Do you have a package that includes all the movie channels with the basic channels also? Yes, we do offer that package. I want that. Do you want anything else? No, but it is possible for me to add channels later. You can always get rid of channels or add some later. I would like to order some internet today. What kind would you like? What kind of internet is there? You can get DSL or dial-up. Which of those two is best? I would recommend DSL. So that one's better? It's better because it doesn't tie up the phone. What do you mean by that? 
DSL isn't connected through your phone line, but dial-up is. So then I can't use my phone if I'm on the internet? That's correct. With DSL, you can do both. I need to get my high-speed internet installed. You'll need to make an appointment. Could I do that right now, please? What day would you like us to do the installation? Is Friday good? We're only available at 3 p.m. You can't come any earlier than that? I'm sorry. That's the only available time. Are you available this Saturday? Yes. Any time on Saturday will be fine. How does 11 sound? We can do it. See you then. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been having this problem? It hasn't been working the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be here? They should be there in the next hour. Hello, I am calling about my cable service. What's the problem? For the past week, my cable hasn't been working. I apologize, but the cable has been down lately. Do you know when it's going to start working again? Give it a couple days, and it should be back on. Will I still have to pay for the cable while it's not working? Since it's not working, I'm going to give you a credit. So, I don't have to pay anything? You won't pay anything until your cable starts working again. Okay. Thank you very much for your help. No problem. Thank you for being so understanding. I'm having problems with my computer. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it won't turn on. Have you checked the connections on your computer? What connections? There are cords that connect your computer to a power outlet. Oh, will the cords keep it from turning on? It won't turn on if the cords aren't connected. I didn't think of that. Try it and see if it works. I think that I will. Thanks. It should work. But let me know if it doesn't. Hello, how are you doing today? Great, what can I help you with? I need to make an appointment for a haircut. Okay, what day would you like to come in? How Saturday? Let me just check the books. Okay. Yes, we have openings only that morning. Can I make it for 1030? That'll be fine. Sounds great. Thank you. No problem. See you Saturday morning. I want to try something different today. What do you mean? I want a different hairstyle. What style do you want? Can you make my hair short? Exactly how short do you want it? Make it a few inches long. Are you sure you want me to cut it that short? I've been thinking about this for a while now. Okay, I'll do it if you're positive that this is what you want. I honestly want my hair that short. Oh, right. Let's begin. Are you almost finished with my hair? I'm almost finished. How much longer is it going to be? I'm done now. Do you like it? I absolutely love it. You really like it? Yes, I truly do. I'm glad you like it. How much do I owe you? It's going to be $55. Here you go. Thanks for everything. Make sure and come back in a couple of weeks. Hun, you're spending a very long time on my hair. I'm almost done. I needed you to be done. And finished an hour ago. 
I'm all done now. Are you sure you're finished? I don't understand. You did a horrible job on my hair. What's wrong with it? I don't like anything about it. I apologize. That's fine, but I'm not paying for it. Excuse me? Let's try to work this out, okay? Have you been coming to this laundromat long? I've been washing clothes here since a few years ago. Why is that? It doesn't cost me as much to wash here. I've just started doing my clothes here. Why are you washing your clothes here now? My washing machine broke down. You should just pay someone to fix it. It's too expensive to get it fixed. So you're just going to wash here? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. It costs less to wash here. I'm not sure about how to operate the washer and dryer. What's the problem? I need help turning them on. You need change? The machine takes change? Yes, it costs 50 cents for the washer and a dollar for the dryer. Where do I put the money in? You put the coins into the slot, push it in, and it will turn on. That's it? There's nothing else to it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me know if you need anything else. Hello! I'm returning your phone call. I'm glad that you could get back to me so fast. No problem. What were you calling about? I needed to talk to you about your son. Is he messing up in school? He was acting up in class one day last week. What was he doing? He wouldn't stop talking throughout the class. I don't know what's gotten into him. If you could, would you please talk to him? I will get right on that, and I'm very sorry. I really appreciate your help. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I'm glad we're meeting today. Thank you. You're welcome. I would like to talk to you about your daughter. Is there a problem? No, your daughter is great. That's great news. Your daughter is a wonderful student. She isn't messing up in class. Of course not. Your daughter is smart and very well behaved. Well, I'm so glad to hear that she's doing well. It is my pleasure to have her in my class. Can you go to the store for me? Sure, I can go to the store for you. What do you need? Just a couple of things. Here's a list. Is there anything else that you want me to pick up? No, I think that's all that I need. Is there any other place you'd like me to go for you? If you can... Could you pick up my prescription for me? Sure, no problem. Is your prescription ready? I think so. It should be. Okay, I'll pick it up for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How much is the fare for this bus? It costs a dollar twenty-five to ride the bus. So, how long have you been driving buses? I've been driving this bus for only a few months. Do you enjoy being a bus driver? Not really. I would never dream of driving a bus. I didn't either, but a paycheck's a paycheck. Well, it was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, too. Are you going on dates? Yes, I find dates to be a lot of fun. What's so fun about them? To give me the opportunity to get to know someone better. So you always have fun on dates? Not always. I don't always like the person I'm on the date with. Why not? My date might not be my type. 
So then, why would you ask them out in the first place? I didn't realize until after our date that they weren't my type. Sounds like a huge waste of time to me. Now that I think about it, it really is sometimes. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what's up? Well, I was just wondering if you'd like to go out this Friday. Really? Yeah. I was thinking we could go get a bite to eat and catch a movie. That sounds like fun. Of course. We can do something else if you'd like. No, no. Dinner and a movie sounds great. Well, what time would you like me to pick you up? How about 7.30? <laughs> that sounds good. So I'll see you then. Okay, cool. Hi, Todd. How's it going? Things are going well. How are you, Mary? I've also been doing well. You know, I've been thinking about maybe taking in a movie this weekend. Do you like to go to the movies? Yes, I really enjoy the movies. Well, I've been hoping that we could spend some time together away from here. I was wondering if you would like to go out Friday evening for dinner and a movie. Sure, that sounds good. Is there any movie in particular that you might be interested in? I was thinking about that movie, Australia. Yeah, that looks like one that we both might enjoy. If I picked you up at 7, would that work out okay for you? 7 o'clock would be great. Fine, then I'll see you at 7. I am looking forward to a great evening. Hi, are you Mia? I am Mia. You must be Ruben. Yes, that's me. It's so good to finally meet you. Karen has told me so much about you. I hope that she had good things to say about me. <laughs> she had only good things to say. Did you have trouble finding me? Well, how many beautiful women in a red dress by the fountain are there? Thank you for the compliment. So would you like to get a bite to eat, Mia? That sounds perfect. Lead the way. Hi, Linda. This is Todd. Todd, good to hear from you. I just wanted to tell you what a great time I had with you at the movies last week. Me too, Todd. Thanks for suggesting that great movie. I also enjoyed it and was wondering if you would like to go for a hike in the mountains with me on Saturday. I would love to join you on a hike. Could I maybe bring a picnic lunch for us to eat on the trail? Sure, Linda. That's a great suggestion. Fine, then. What time are we going to leave? I was thinking maybe 9 o'clock or so, so that we could get started before the heat gets too bad. 9 would be perfect. I'll see you then. John, I was talking to the travel agent about where we might be taking our vacation this year. I'm going fishing in Alaska with my friend Mark. What are you talking about? What's wrong with heading out with Mark for vacation? You and I have been together for a whole year, and our vacation time should be about the two of us. Really? Who made that rule up? With that attitude, I don't really think we... Hello? I would like to apply for a permit. Can I see your ID? No, I left it in the car. I'm going to need to see your ID and $27 for your permit. One moment while I go and get my ID. Make it quick. Okay, here's my ID and the $27. Thanks. Now fill this out. Do you have a pen that I can use? Use this one. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Turn the application in at window B. Have you taken the written test yet? 
No, I haven't. You should study before you take it. I have been studying. Why don't you take the test? Do you know if it costs any money to take it? Since you already paid for your permit, you don't have to pay again. All right. Do you know if the test covers the whole book? No, the test skips a lot of things in the book. Did you pass it the first time you took it? No, I didn't, because it was pretty hard. Well, I hope that I do well. So you know how to drive, right? I'm pretty good. Do you think you can teach me? Did you get your learner's permit yet? I have it already. Do you have any experience driving a car? I've only done it once. Do you know all the controls in the car? Yes, I'm aware of them. When did you want to start learning how to drive? Whenever you have time. We can do it tomorrow. Just call me. Do you want to practice your driving right now? No problem. We can do it right now. Are you buckled up? All right, now what do I do? Start the car. Which way do you want me to go? Take a left. How far do you want me to go? I'll tell you when to stop. Just make sure to tell me beforehand. We're back now, so why don't you try parking? Well, that was fun. Let's do it again soon. So how did I do on my driving test? Do you want the truth? Of course I do. Wow, you really didn't do all that well. How bad did I do? To be completely honest, you failed your test. How? There were a number of reasons. What were they? Basically, you just can't drive. Can I have another try? You can take it in a couple weeks. How'd I do on my driving test? You did great on the test. Did I pass my test? You passed with flying colors. Did I mess up at all on my test? There was only one thing. What was it? You had some problems with parking. Parking is always the hardest thing for me. You should practice that. I will, but in the meantime, do I get my license? Yes, you got your license. I need to get my driver's license. You need to take your driving test. Have you? No, I still need to take it. Please fill out this paperwork. All right, but will I be able to take my test today? Actually, you're going to have to make an appointment first. May I make one right now, please? Sure you can. The soonest day available will be this Friday. Friday will be fine. What time can you come in? I would like to do it sometime in the morning. I'll schedule you for 11 o'clock Friday morning. I need to find somewhere to park. Off campus or on campus? I need to find a space on campus. Why don't you park in the parking structure for students? Where is the parking structure at? It's on the west side of the campus. Do you know if the parking structure is full or not? It was empty last time I went up there. How long ago was that? I went up there early this morning. Do you think it'll be full now? It might be. You'll have to go see for yourself. Have you ever gotten a parking ticket? I've never gotten one. Have you? I got a ticket yesterday. Really? What did you get one for? I parked in the red zone. Why did you do that? I needed to get something really quick. Where did you park at? At my apartment building. Don't you have your own parking spot? I needed to be fast. That was very lazy of you. Have you ever gotten a parking ticket? I've gotten a few. How many is a few? I've gotten about six. Have you paid all your tickets off? Yes, I've paid all of them off. How much is the fine? 
It's like a hundred and thirty dollars each ticket. That's not cheap at all. I got a parking ticket the other day. Pay it off and they'll clear your record. I'm going to do that as soon as possible. Is there a problem, officer? Did you notice that stop sign that you ran through? I'm sorry, I didn't even notice it. You didn't see it? I honestly couldn't see it because of the bushes growing over it. That's true. Those bushes are a problem. I swear that I didn't mean to run it. I can understand why you didn't stop for it. Are you going to give me a ticket today, sir? Under the circumstances, I think I'm just going to let you go with a warning. Thanks a lot. No problem. Next time, just pay closer attention. Is there a problem, officer? I stopped you for driving through a red light. Did I really? You didn't know? I had no idea that I ran it. Don't you know that yellow means slow down? Yes, ma'am. Why'd you speed up instead? I really have no excuse, ma'am. I'll have to write you a ticket. I understand, and I'm very sorry. Here's your ticket. You're here today to argue your ticket. I am. Plead your case. The police officer that pulled me over said I was speeding. Were you speeding when you got pulled over? I was not speeding. How fast were you going? In a 40 mile per hour zone, I was only going about 35. Well, seeing as the officer that pulled you over isn't here, I'll let you go. Do I still need to pay the fine? No. You don't. I appreciate your understanding. What are you here for today? I need to fight this ticket that I got. Is the arresting officer here? Yes, he is, your honor. Plead your case. I was told by the officer that I ran a red light. That information isn't true. Why would the officer lie? I'm not sure, but the signal had a camera on it. Did the camera take a picture of your license plate? No, my picture wasn't taken. There was no picture taken, so I'll let you go. Thank you very much, Your Honor. I need to pay for the fine on my ticket. Do you have a ticket with you? Yes, I have my ticket with me. Let me see your ID. I forgot to bring that with me. You need it to pay for your fine. Why can't I just give you the money for the fine? Because I need to see a photo ID in order to verify who you are. Okay, I think I understand. All right. Come back and bring your ID. So once I pay this off, my record will be cleared? Once you pay it, your record will be cleared. Pasadena Traffic School, how can I help you? I would like to sign up for some classes. What classes do you want to sign up for? I need to take a driver's course. You'll have to make an appointment. What do I need to make an appointment for? You need an appointment so you can sign the papers. All right. Can I make an appointment right now? When